Hi, my name is Khaled Uden. I'm looking forward to being a part of the Princeton Local Author Day. And these are my two books, the first two in fantasy series called the Drowned Realm series. Book one is Rise of the Red Harbinger and book two is The Ghost of Asher. Uh, today I'll be reading a passage from the prologue of the first book. So here we go. How long do you plan to follow me? Anywhere we go, people will know us, Darian breathes heavily as if he'd done the galloping and not his horse. Anywhere you attack me, people will know what you did and will hate you for it. And what will you do then? Kill the rest of the world? We're like brothers, Jermash, brothers. You've already killed Lionel and Abram. Be done with it now. Do you think you'll find peace if you kill me as well? Jamash stared at the tall, slender man coldly. No, I will not. His indignant eyes glared directly into Darian's, which gazed back, unwavering. Then why are we here? Jamash's Jemash, mouth contorted as he spit the words out. I'll find peace after I've killed you and all your wives and children. And if it takes me decades to find them all, I'll kill your children's children as well. I'll find peace when every last person you love is dead. If it means I must murder the whole world, then so be it. We saved the whole world, Darian. And for what? Gideon died in the process. Damn the origin. Gideon was just a boy. And look at how they treat me. They would have you rule the world while I stand behind you like a dog. Women throw themselves at you. And the one, the only one that I love, you have to steal her from me, too. You have a dozen wives, and that's not enough. For the last time, Jamash, there's nothing between me and your wife. I'm married to her sister for the love of origin. Jamash clenched his fist as if that would stop you. Your lust knows no bound, Darian. Don't you dare speak of brotherhood. You bask in the adoration of the world and believe every last word of praise the heap on your shoulders. If you could turn those words into a crown, you would, but you're no king. Come now, Jamash. You know as well as I do that I'd never accepted the offer to become king. The last thing this world needs is one man making the decisions for all humanity. If I were to become king, the origin would likely have to sell, select five new harbingers to save the world from me. Mankind is good now. I'm content to leave it at that. Go back to your wife, have children, let yourself grow old. I have no intentions of staying immortal. Let us become old men together while our children grow up inseparably. Darian labored in his breathing and looked tired. Too tired for any reason to be justified. It's not too late, old friend. We can still have what we once did. Believe me, I will shut up. What are you doing? Your scheme, what scheme are you hatching? I know you're lying to me. And why, by the curse of rings, are you laboring so? You rode all this way on a horse, and yet you look more tired than your beast. Why are you trying to stall? As he looked around at the horizon, Jamash knew it was too late. Water approached from all three directions as Darian dropped to his knees, heaving. Jamash realized his mistake too late. His anger at Darian had clouded, clouded his ability to see what the harbinger was truly doing. He spat and then growled at the man he once called a brother. You filthy coward. You've led me all the way out here to drown me. Do you expect me to be beg you to stop? Do you really think I'm going to cry and whine for you to spare me? Darian looked up and glared at him through sweat-glazed hair. I expect nothing, brother. I didn't bring you here to kill you. I don't have it in me to do such a thing. Perhaps that's your problem. You think too little of the people who love you. I brought you here to trap you. The water drew closer, towering waves seemingly intent on crashing down on Jamash. You'll live out your days on an island, cut off from humanity. I'll provide you with. Darian paused to cough, then spit out blood. He planted his fist in the ground for support. There'll be enough food to survive if you care to. The waves continued to glide closer and Jamash could no longer see anything else on the horizon. He bit his lips so hard that blood poured down his chin. He hated the other man, yet respected his actions. And the world thinks I am its villain, yet you would be so diabolical. Darian looked at, at, up at him once more, blood dripping from his own mouth. I brought you here to save you. And the only way to do that is to commit the greatest sacrifice I can. No matter what you do, I will always call you brother. I will see you again in the rings, Harbinger. Darian smiled at him, then outstretched his arms high above his head. The giant waves drew closer, and Darian finally slammed both fists into the dirt. All around them, the waves came crashing down with a thunderous roar. Jamash refused to cower despite his paralyzing fear of the seas. He looked back at Darian, who collapsed to the ground. He stalked towards the other man with murder in his heart. That's it for now. Thanks and hope to see you soon.